The AMD Radeon RX 7600 goes on sale on May 25, 2023, with an MSRP of $269, making it the cheapest card of this generation to launch. Not only that, it's a substantial price drop from the Radeon RX 6600, which launched at $329, so you're getting a much better graphics card for almost 20% less. This is more like it. Ostensibly, the rival to the RX 7600 is the RTX 4060, but since that card has yet to launch, we can only really compare it to the last-gen midrange offerings from NVIDIA and Intel. The NVIDIA RTX 4060 when it launches will sell for $299, which is 9% cheaper than the RTX 3060's official MSRP of $329. The RX 7600 has a cheaper MSRP than either of those, but I expect that the RTX 3060 especially will see some heavy discounting as a result of both the RTX 4060 and the RX 7600, so the value proposition of the RX 7600 might shift depending on what SKU you're looking at. With the move to RDNA 3, the AMD Radeon RX 7600 starts off on a 6nm TSMC process over the RX 6600 7nm, which gives the RX 7600 a roughly 20% jump in the number of transistors it has to work with, and even though the actual GPU die on the RX 7600 is about 14% smaller than that of the RX 6600, it manages to pack in 4 additional compute units for a total of 32 compared to the RX 6600's 28. This is also a more mature architecture, so the 2048 stream processors are more performant, and the second-generation Ray accelerators are a huge improvement over the first-gen RAs in the RX 6600. The RX 7600 also has faster clocks than the RX 6600, with a boost clock improvement of about 6%. But the big improvement comes with the memory clock speed, which is 2250 MHz for the RX 7600 and 1750 MHz for the RX 6600. This means a nearly 30% boost to memory speed, so even though the RX 7600 is still rocking the same 8GB GDDR6 RAM on a 128-bit bus as the RX 6600, it has an 18GB PS effective memory speed, compared to 14GB PS for the RX 6600. There is also the addition of 64 AI accelerators for the RX 7600, which the RX 6600 simply didn't have. This means that things like Radeon Super Resolution will run better than it did on the RX RX 6600, and it will enable advanced AI workloads like generative AI content creation. All this does come at the cost of power though, as the RX 7600 has a 25% higher TGP than the RX 6600. The AMD reference card for the Radeon RX 7600 is a compact dual fan number that will fit in just about any case. This is a dual slot card, but it's just over 8 inches long and a little over 4 inches tall. So it's great for mini tower builds, and with just a single 8-pin power connector, you won't have any issues with cable management here. In terms of outputs, we get three DisplayPort 2.1 ports with a single HDMI 2.1 a port, though no USB-C output. Far be it for me to be a buzzkill, though, so if you want to push this card at 8K, do let me know how that turns out. As for the lack of USB-C, this really isn't a creative card, so this isn't something that you should worry about, unless you have one of the best USB-C monitors and nothing else. Even then, I recommend looking further up the stack, since USB-C monitors are almost universally for creative pros, and this card isn't going to cut it for the kind of work you'll need to do with it. In terms of its actual aesthetics, like the two RDNA3 cards before it, the RX 7600 eschews any RGB and features a matte black design with some subtle accent touches, like the red stripes on the fins of the heat sink, which would be visible in a case. For the most part, the RTX 4060 is the RX 7600's main competition, but with NVIDIA RTX 4060T just being released, it's the natural comparison at the moment. Is this necessarily fair? No, it's not. And the RX 7600 does lose out to the RTX 4060T on just about every measure, but it really doesn't lose that badly. In rasterized workloads at 1080p, 
The RX 7600 is only about 12% slower than the RTX 4060T and only about 13% slower at 1440p. This changes drastically as soon as you start factoring in ray tracing and upscaling but it's something I definitely wasn't expecting. Against the RTX 3060T, the RX 7600 fares better, obviously, and generally it outperforms the RTX 3060 in rasterization workloads. In terms of its predecessor, the RX 7600 is the kind of gen-on-gen -gen improvement I was really expecting to see from the RTX 4060T and didn't get. The RX 7600's rasterization performance is great, but its improved ray accelerators really outshine what the RX 6600 is capable of, and really makes ray tracing at this price point accessible to the midrange.